this beautiful land is burdened with an ugly reality. In the past decade, our partners tell us that more than 30 ministers and church workers have been killed. Why? Because they have been speaking out about the deep conflicts in this region over land use, particularly between mining companies and indigenous peoples. To stop the killings, the United Church of Christ in the Philippines asked the United Church of Canada for support. They asked us to write to the Canadian government and the Philippine government, demanding that the Philippine government stop turning a blind eye to these killings and bring the perpetrators to justice. And the letter campaign in church groups, large and small, started. The experiences we've had with uh, United Church of Canada have been very instrumental in um, bringing the news to the international community and encouraging various, either on their personal capacity or organizational capacity, to respond to issues particularly in the Philippines. Um, the recent experience we have had is on human rights. The Stop the Killing Now has been um, widely um, advocated in um, the communities of the United Church of Canada and they have well responded to it and has contributed much to um, putting a stop to the killings in the, especially in the political persecutions of uh, people here in the Philippines. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church of Canada make these strong powerful partnerships possible and save lives.